So I was going to save this question for the end, but I feel like this question is really relevant to this conversation of, of barriers. And my question, you know, we've, we've talked a lot about how important this is. And once you use the right terminology, it becomes almost intuitive and obvious that there is a clear solution here and it, it benefits everyone. Do you think that the issue is that people are just not thinking about it? Like, is it an exposure issue? Is it a language issue? Why is this not more obvious, both at the policy level and at the research level? Yeah, I would I would say it's because there's not enough people with disabilities and openly identifying as having disabilities leading uh, scientific spaces like this. And that is so tightly linked to the um, inequities and exclusion that people with disabilities face in society. And that's also tightly linked to that sort of deficit based or that stereotypical view of disability that people can't or people shouldn't or it's an exception, right? Um, and all of those things I do think really compound to just not being part of the conversation, right? And not thinking this is something to prioritize. It's not part of the vernacular of diversity of efforts in, in science. And that really does have to change, but it's going to take some turning of all those gears, um, maybe some turning harder than others. And I really think it's including more people with disabilities in, in these conversations and in in these spaces. So I, I really am grateful for this this discussion for, for that reason and, and to highlight that. Yeah, I think there's a lot of moving parts here. And is there like a, a D, all of the above <laughs> answer here? Um, I, I would say there's, a, you know, who who has authority and who has power and who has uh, who makes decisions uh, is a huge element of this. I think there's also financial logistical barriers to having disabled folks uh, involved in space flight, which I don't think has come up yet. But you know, if uh, let's say you're in the U.S. on disability income benefits, uh, a lot of folks uh, cannot be married uh, or cannot own more than two thousand dollars worth of uh, you know, savings, uh, because then uh, they're, uh, they're no longer eligible for their benefits. So th there might be a financial barrier to becoming an astronaut, because if you get $2,001 in salary, you are now kicked off uh, your benefits. It, it might have nothing to do with how you design the habitat and it, all of uh, how the crew decisions were made and all of that. It, it may be a logistical uh, factor that has more to do uh, with policy, with society, with, uh, you know, problems that transcend uh, you know, the, the delineation of earth and space that is uh, uh, often perpetuated. Um, so I, I think it requires, uh, as Bonnie has alluded to, you know, more engagement with disabled folks, more investment in disabled folks, uh, having disabled communities lead these efforts. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think uh, those are great steps forward. <laughs>